Hi, my name is Corey Stuck, and this is our video on spiritual disciplines being guided by the Holy Spirit. You know, Jesus talks at length in, several times in the New Testament about the Holy Spirit. We're going to focus on one section of that in John chapter 16. But, you know, in the Old Testament, there's many references to the Holy Spirit being poured out on people, in some cases inside a person, but never about dwelling in a person, living in a person, as those who follow Jesus now have. Acts 2 makes clear that when we're baptized into Christ, we're given the gift of the Holy Spirit. Uh, you know, in, in those Old Testament references, Moses, uh, Joshua, Gideon, Samson, Daniel, Solomon, uh, you know, all of those uh, men and, and women that are referenced having that Spirit come on them, all those men and women we see of faith in Hebrews 11, uh, none of them had the Spirit of God living in them. Jesus says in John chapter 7, um, he, he talking about the, the Holy Spirit being given, and then John gives a little, uh, a little note there, and he says, Now this he said about the Spirit whom those who believed in him were to receive, for as yet the Spirit had not been given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. We, as followers of Jesus today, have the Spirit of God inside of us. Now we have to figure out what does it mean to be guided by the Spirit? Why does Jesus even do that? In John 16, we get a little bit of a picture into why he would do this. In verse uh, 4, the second half of verse 4, Jesus says, I did not say these things to you from the beginning because I was with you, but now I'm going to him who sent me. And none of you ask me, where are you going? But because I've said these things to you, sorrow has filled your heart. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, it is to your advantage that I go away, for I did not go away. If I did not go away, the Helper will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you, and when he comes, he will convict the world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment, concerning sin because they do not believe in me, concerning righteousness because I go to the Father and you will see me no longer, concerning judgment because the ruler of this world is judged." I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak and he will declare to you the things that are to come. Uh, you know, here uh, in, in, uh, in this passage in John 16, Jesus is preparing his disciples for his departure. Uh, his time is almost up on the earth. And as Jesus always did, he was teaching and preparing because he knew that once this time was up, once he left, these men and women were going to have to do it uh, without him physically there. And he says here in verse 7 that it's better, it's to our advantage that he goes away. And the Holy Spirit is given to us as a counselor is what this word means. Uh, it's, it's, it's someone who's called to one side, who pleads another's case. Uh, the New American Standard Bible translate translates it as the helper. And, uh, you know, he was sent to be by our side to, to help us and assist us. He was sent to convict us, to bring to light, to expose, to refute or convict. Uh, we all need exposure because oftentimes we do in our, on those bad days, we do tend to want to keep things in the dark, but the Holy Spirit wants to expose us. Uh, there was a time in in the uh, you know 2010, we were going through a pretty difficult time in our family uh, with our, our our daughter, and uh, some challenges were going on. And but I was very hard. I had become very bitter in the situation. And that day, uh, that particular day in the fall of that year, uh, I was talk talking to someone else about their situation, their their uh, relationship situation they had going on, and was challenging them to not be the offended brother who put up a wall and separates them from someone else. And, and um, that night, middle of the night, I got up and felt this leading to pray on my knees. I resisted for a, a few minutes and then thought, okay, let me do it. I'm going to get on my knees and pray. And the spirit inside just told me, you are the offended brother. The spirit used that situation and exposed me and really helped to improve my relationship with my daughter like never before. And she, by the grace of God, is a disciple of Jesus here now 12 years later and, uh, and doing great. But if I hadn't repented and allowed the Spirit to expose me using the Word, using just that time to pray, does it happen like that for everyone all the time? No, it doesn't. Uh, but the Holy Spirit is always working.
Yeah, 2 Corinthians 3.18, we're being transformed into his likeness by the Spirit. Uh, just go and look that up, 2 Corinthians 3.18. Fantastic scripture about the work the Holy Spirit is doing to transform us. He does that through his word as he guides us into all truth. He does, does that through exposure. He does that through our spiritual contact with other men and women of the faith who point us in the direction of the scriptures. The Holy Spirit is working. And he's working inside every follower of Jesus. He's wanting to do work so that we can be transformed into the likeness of Jesus each and every day. I hope this has been helpful for you. And may God bless you. Amen.